Hey learners, today we're going to take a look at the unit one discussion planning and drafting. First, uh, my name is Ms. Lockman, uh, so please feel free to reach out to me for any questions you have about this class. I'm going to be the teacher of this class. Uh, my email is there. It's jlockman at sdvirtualschools.com. And then my phone number is also there, 619-887-9219. So what are we doing here? We're going to talk about your first discussion. It's called planning and drafting, uh, but we need to know some key terms first. So the key terms to know here are brainstorm, free write transitional words and phrases, editing, and final draft. So let's take a look at the first key terms, the first two key terms, brainstorming and free writing. Free writing is one of the brainstorming strategies used to generate ideas when approaching any type of writing assignment. The planning and drafting tutorial says free writing involves jotting down your first thoughts on a topic without judging their worth or how they relate to your paper and it can effectively stir up your ideas in your mind. Okay, so free writing strategy. Let's try it. So right now, uh, I want you to take out a piece of paper, go to a Google Doc. Um, I might actually suggest going to a Google Doc. You can also go to the uh, Unit 1 discussion page and download that. You can write that right on here um, and put five minutes on your clock and then just write down, where do you see yourself in five years? Just brainstorm for five minutes. Grammar doesn't count. Don't worry about spelling. Just get your thoughts out on the page. And I'm gonna wait right here. Hopefully you pause the video and wrote down for five minutes. So once you have that free write, you're just putting your thoughts out there. Where am I gonna be in five years? Um, you can even start like, I don't know where I'm gonna be, but I have an idea of I wanna do this, I wanna do that. Just Write down anything you can think of. Great work on your free writing part one. So let's move on to part two. I'm going to start with transitional words and phrases, and then we'll figure out which ones to use in your paragraph. And then we'll get to the last step, which is editing. So let's look at some transitional words and phrases. So here's just a few on the actual document. If you go and you download your copy of the document, um, you'll be able to see a whole list of all these other transitional words and phrases, but here are a few. Um, to add, you can use additionally also another, besides further, furthermore, um, if you're comparing something, it would be likewise similar to, correspondingly, while in the same way, um, to provide clarification. So in other words, this means, right? Namely, you know, what I'm saying is uh, in particular, right? To uh, give examples, to provide examples above all, crucially, for example, in the case of generally, especially, those are example transitional words or phrases, uh, sequence or time, right? First, second, third, we're always using those at present, before, after, during, concurrently, which means at the same time, right? Um, and then summarize or conclude. Okay, so this one is like at the at the end of your paragraph, like overall, right? Ultimately, thus, uh, in summary, in other words, you know, where I want to be in five years is running my own business, right? Something like that. So right now, choose three words in your paragraph that you're going to use in your paragraph from this chart right here. Three words. One, two, three. I'm going to wait. Okay, awesome. Now that you've chosen your three words, you're going to edit. Okay, so editing is one of the most important stages of writing, right? Nothing is ever perfect the first time you write it down, so editing is key. So what you're going to do is you're going to look at your free write page, right? Your free writing paragraph, like whatever you wrote about where you want to be in five years, take a look at that. From that free write, you're going to create another paragraph that uses those transitional words and phrases, and it's you're going to pare it down, use punctuation, make sure your, your spelling, your grammar is correct, all that good stuff, and you're going to actually create a cohesive paragraph that explains where you want to be in five years based on your free write. Okay, go ahead and do that now, and I'll uh, I'll be here. Just waiting. Okay, now that you've done that. Your final draft, right? So are you done? Did you do it all? Does your paragraph look good? And when you edited, read it one more time, make sure it says everything you wanted to say. There's periods at the end of all your sentences. Uh, the beginnings of all your sentences start with a capital letter. 
all that good stuff. Your proper nouns are capitalized, right? If you use someone's name, if you use the name of the business or a company, something like that, make sure that you are capitalizing those. Uh, make sure your commas are in the right place. Just one more glance to make sure that everything is where it needs to be. And then go ahead and submit both of your paragraphs, okay? Your free write and your final paragraph. Um, if you do find that your submission is too long to include both paragraphs, you can go ahead and link your Google Doc. Just put the, the, the link to your Google Doc right as your discussion post and you will be all set to go. If you have any questions, again, let me know. I'm here. My email is jlockman at sdvirtualschools.com and my phone number is 619-887-9219. Thanks for watching the video and I hope you have a great day.